Hey folks, welcome back. My name is Joy. All right, we have gotten past the election, finally. That election literally went on for at least two years. Maybe even four years with as much as they wanted, everyone wanted it to get Trump out of office. But now, since we got past the election, I get to be back on my shit. Gotta come with the Dre divorce update, of course. I don't know why this has become my favorite topic of 2020, but I feel at this point, I gotta see it through. I can't just start something and not finish it. So here is the update today. And actually, now that I think about it, it wasn't it strange that Dre, Dr. Dre was so quiet during this last, this past election season? Especially with all the money he has, supposedly the first rapper billionaire, the first hip hop billionaire. I'm actually surprised that he didn't pop up like Wayne or 50 Cent. Although I've never seen really Dre, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, expressing any political leanings. But again, I am still surprised he did not pop up, good or bad. I'm not saying that he would, I'm just saying I'm surprised he didn't. For Hillary, Hillary, look at me. For uh, Biden or Kamala or uh, Trump, either way. All right, so I'm back on it. I'm going to be equal part celebrity gossip and politics, A-D-O-S life. But let me get to it. Let me get into this Dre and Nicole Young update. Here I go. So I think my last video was actually about Truly Young. They have two kids, Dre and Nicole, Truly and Truce. Truly is the girl. Truce, I believe, is the son who is maybe still under 18. So that last video was about her, Truly Young, flaming 50 and Exhibit after they came for her mom online. 50 has some nasty words. I'm not even going to repeat them. It's not worth repeating. Why are some of my videos I have to end up talking about 50 Cent? I don't know and I don't like it. Well, let me get to it. According to HotNewHipHop.com, in the heated divorce between Nicole and Dre, who were married for nearly 24 years, both sides have gone to war and thrown out all the stops in order to secure a win. Nicole claims that she's entitled to half of Dre's fortune, claiming that Dre ripped up their prenup papers in a show of affection. And of course, I talked about that previously. I remember doing a video on that. Then uh, Nicole said Dre ripped it up, that he did it in a show of affection, that it no longer exists. So I did the video about that and Nicole has said that Dre tore up that prenup a few years into the marriage. And Dre, on the other hand, go back to the article, says that his jester, so is he admitting to it? He's admitting to it, was not legitimate and that the legal document still holds. And as far as what I know about contracts, that is true. You can't, when once you sign, just ripping it up is not it. You got to sign another contract saying that previous contract is null and void. And I'm not a lawyer and I think that that is my understanding. So what I know now that judge has said the prenup still exists. Graham recently called Young issued subpoenas to three women. Wow, that she alleges were Dr. Dre's mistress during their 24 year marriage. The three women include Jillian Spear, Keely Anderson, and Crystal Rogers. Crystal was reportedly giving Nicole a very hard time as she continually ignores her attempts to get her to testify in court. So Nicole is trying to get these three women who she is saying that were Dre's side chicks during their marriage to go to court and testify. I'm not sure why. Let me keep reading. So you're going to figure this out. According to Lipstick Alley, reports initially surfaced in 2013 that Dre had cheated on Nicole with Kelly Anderson, a one-time model who now is a co-owner of a natural skincare brand called Skin and Senses. Dre vehemently denied the claim. So he's saying he didn't do it. I didn't do it. It's a lie. I didn't do it. It's a lie. Is that really even an R. Kelly song? I don't know. I just only know that part. So I'm not even sure if this is R. Kelly song. Um, ugh, R. Kelly. Anyhow, Baltimore born Crystal Rogers co-wrote the song Got Me Open, which included in Dre, which was included in Dre's compilation album, The Aftermath in 1996. Okay, so she he has known Crystal Rogers for a long time. That's almost as long as they have been married, 24 years. Jillian Spear 41 is a singer, songwriter, and musician from Seattle, Washington. Okay, so she up in my up in my neck of the woods. She released an album called Deeper This Way in 2016. In Dre's new court documents, his attorney, Laura Wasser, this week accused Nicole of abusing the discovery process saying her demands for 12 years of Dre's financial and personal papers is a complete waste of time, money, and resources, and nothing but a blatant attempt to harass Andre, end quote. Okay. According to The Blast, Crystal Rogers, also known as Crystal Sierra, I guess maybe that's her stage name, I've never heard of her, is refusing to answer questions about 
an alleged affair. She has reportedly filed a motion to halt Nicole's advances, claiming that Dre's estranged wife is searching for information that is, quote, irrelevant to the matter in dispute and not and are not reasonably calculated to lead to the discovery of Ms. Webb. So she's saying, whatever y'all are going to get from me has nothing to do with their divorce. I'm not going to testify. I plead the fifth. Goes on to say, Crystal says that my because Nicole and Dre are fighting mostly over the validity of their prenup, she would be useless to question. She has nothing to do with the prenup. The motion to file claims that she has no information about the prenup or any information that could help either side. So for some reason, Crystal does really does not want to testify. She really does not want to take the stand. And I'm wondering why, because if she has signed some type of NDA with Dre that says, I, you know, I cannot reveal these things that I would assume she just say like, I have this NDA. I cannot talk about things, but I don't know how a deposition works. Does the NDA go out the window? I would think not. So I'm wondering why doesn't Crystal want to get up there? Maybe she just doesn't want to be in this business. And it's like, I'm done with this. I've moved on from Dre. But I will say Crystal is making it sound like all this happened, just like Nicole Young is alleging. Otherwise, why wouldn't you just get on the sand and say, I don't know anything about this. I have, I'm not involved. And now according to TMZ, Dr. Dre's estranged wife, that's Nicole, is looking into whether the mogul was unfaithful during their marriage, like we talked about, and she's the manager of he fathered children with other women. So that's the new part. So we talked about like, there's these alleged three mistresses, and now TMZ is coming out saying that Nicole Young also wants to know if he fathered children with other women. Nicole just filed legal docs asking Dre to hand over any paperwork, any paperwork relating to any paternity actions he may have been involved in during their 24 year union. So I wonder if Nicole is suspecting, has an indication that these paternity suits already happened and Dre is, there's legal documents out there that show he has fathered other children besides um, truly a truce, or if she's fishing and trying to see because she she thinks he has these mistresses and because of the longevity and for some reason maybe she's saying money leave the bank accounts that's not accounted for i don't know Go, the article from tz goes on to say it's not clear there are actually any paternity suits involved during nicole simply requesting he hand over any paperwork if there's anything on this front so again like i just said there's not even proof that there are any paternity suits she's just looking for the information now, like I said, I think there's two reasons Nicole is asking about any other kids right now. Well, obviously, they're getting divorced. That's the main reason. But that's not one of the few I'm going to talk about. The first one is this is the only chance she's going to get to compel Dr. Dre to reveal the kids he might have with other women. I, in court, I can sue you. I can subpoena you as part of these divorce proceedings and say, you have to tell me. You have to reveal it so I know if there's any money that's been going out that I don't know about. That should be community assets. The second part is this. Nicole wants to know if Dre, like I said, has money going any el anywhere else that he hasn't told her about. So the one is, this is her only opportunity really to compel him to, to say under oath, yes, you do or do not have other kids. And then two, it's her way to know if he has money going elsewhere. I personally think, and I hope her lawyers are doing this at least, that she hires a, per a, a private investigator. You gotta, you gotta, I mean, it's not that hard. You Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the kids are out there if they exist. I definitely don't want to see them on the internet. I don't want them exposed at, or exposed, but they're just not involved in this. They're, they're, they have nothing to do with this. So I don't, I would hope that these kids, if they, if they are out there are not brought into this mess online. I really do. But there are ways to find out. And so if Nicole truly wants to find out, and this is all not just publicity, and she'll go about it the way that isn't messy and just get to the, 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 the core of the situation. I mean, we saw the previous uh, filing she put, she claims to be paying 20,000 a month for her phone. So if she really needs to contact any private eye agency across the world, she really could. That's not holding her back. So she's like, I'm just saying maybe, maybe we do this the right way. We don't involve the kids. We don't try to bring kids out into the public if they are involved. I saw somebody say online that this is why Diddy has never married. He hasn't ever really married. He's got a lot of baby moms. He never married because he knows that this is how he would end up. He would end up one of these with a, a woman, his wife walking away with half after 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years. But I digress. Even though I have never heard of Nicole Young till this divorce, I'm still, I just, I still don't feel sorry for Dr. Dre in any of this. 
he's a known woman beater. And this isn't slandering a whole population of people. This is this is about Dr. Dre. He's a known woman beater. I've talked about him pre almost every previous video. So I have, a, I have a hard time feeling sorry about him. As much as he, he's contributed to the culture and everything else, I mean, when he's has he ever apologized? Um, plus, did it anybody slander Mackenzie Bezos in the press? I didn't see any uh, hit pieces. I didn't see all these things. Call it. I didn't see celebrities coming out saying Mackenzie Bezos is is this B word and that and the other. When she divorced Jeff Bezos and took a quarter of Amazon, I didn't see any of that. But they've been together less time, if you, if, if I'm right, or maybe about the same amount of time as Nicole and Dr. Dre. Either way, you slice it, you dice it. I was trained on how to cut a pie and cut it into eight perfect slices. Either way, Nicole's going to walk away a, a multimillionaire. Her and Dre got married in 1996. And while Dre was popular, MWA, he had gone solo at that point, there is no way he had as much money then as he does now, before a prenup, before they got wet, before she would get half in the state of California. He sold a, a multi-billion dollar company well until their marriage, only a couple years ago. So either way, Nicole was going to walk away rich. So at this point, no matter what Nicole does, she's a wealthy woman. And maybe that's a, that's what we have to realize here. Through all this, she's trying to seemingly say and call out Dre for the dog that he is before this is all settled and done. And I don't know if I can blame her. But that's what I got, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I love my Dr. Dre videos because I'm, I'm, I'm deep in this right now. I might write a, a biography one day on just this on autobiography. Wait, is it a biography? Or a biography? biography. Talking about this. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like I said, nobody had all this smoke for uh, Mackenzie Bezos, who, whatever, whatever she goes by now. Mackenzie Collins or Ruffaford. I don't know. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.